why is it important to balance swimming pool water? You know, this is a, this is a frustrated swimming pool owner that is asking this question. You know, you kind of end up chasing your tail around when you don't really know what you're doing. And then you get frustrated and you start asking, like, I don't know why I need to do this at all. I talked to my neighbor, Bob. He says he puts chlorine in it and he doesn't do anything else. And his water always looks great. You know, why is it, why is it even so important? Do I even really need to do this? Like, I think we all know that pools need chlorine. And so you add some of that, but do you really need to balance all of that other stuff? And there's really three things that you need to consider when you're talking about what you put into your swimming pool. The first is the water needs to be safe. You need to make it safe for you and your family and any swimmers that use the pool. And that's the disinfection process, the sanitizer, the chlorine that's in the water. But it doesn't just stop there. There's other parameters that could get out of line that result in the chlorine not being able to do its job anymore. So I guess that's important too, right? We need to do other stuff to make sure that the chlorine that we're putting in is able to be a sanitizer like we we expect it to be. And so that brings into question this whole concept of balancing the water because what you're talking about is making the water in balance in the saturation index so the water is not in a, in a scaling state, it's not in an acidic state, it's in a neutral state, which brings me to the second point, which is bather comfort. That's one of the big reasons that you balance your swimming pool water because you want it to be comfortable for you to go swimming. You don't want to get out of the water and be all covered in red, itchy rashes and stuff like that. That doesn't sound like a good time to me. And so that's one of the main reasons that you're going to want to balance your swimming pool water to make sure it's comfortable for you when you use it. And further to that, if the water's not comfortable for to you, what do you think it's like for your swimming pool equipment? Uh, have you ever heard of that old uh, test you could do where you take like a nail and you put it in a can of Coca-Cola or something like that and the, the Coke dissolves the nail? The idea there is that Coke is acidic, you know, and any acid would do that, like a vinegar or something like that. What do you suppose happens if you let your swimming pool water get really, really acidic? Well, every piece of metal sitting in that really, really acidic water is going to want to corrode and at an advanced rate. And that's kind of the same idea that you're dealing with with a swimming pool. Why do we bother balancing the, you know, all these chemicals at all? It's to make the water congruent with, you know, your bather comfort, safety, but also longevity of your pool equipment and integral swimming pool components like, you know, the surface, the interior surface of your swimming pool, things like that. So in total, you know, balancing your water, it is frustrating at first when you're new, when you're new to it, but there is a learning curve and you will get over and it does get a lot easier. And more importantly, it is important to learn how to balance your swimming pool water. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.